I'm glad you're here, Mr. Holmes. Something, something's not right. Every night, someone is getting killed, savagely torn apart. At first, I was convinced it was the innkeeper. We all were. No, this isn't the work of any man or woman, no. This is something much worse. We executed an innocent townsperson that day. I believe that this demon, this imp, I believe it's taking on human form by day, walking amongst us, befriending us, choosing its next victim. Some people claim to know things, but I don't know who to trust. It's as if this imp has minions that have infiltrated this town as well. No shit, Sherlock. One thing is for certain, someone is not who they say they are. Hey, it's me. Good news. Sherlock's on the case. Yeah, he'll start talking to the townsfolk soon. Hello? Hello? No service. Come on. Hey, Welcome to Sherlock Holmes and the Deathly Clock Tower, a murder mystery based on the game Blood on the Clock Tower by Stephen Medway and the Pandemonium Institute. My name is Kelly Wong, and I will be your storyteller. As you just saw, our quiet little village of Niagara-on-the-Lake is being terrorized by a demon. During the day, this imp takes on human form. They appear to be an innocent townsfolk, walking amongst us, making friends, cracking jokes, but after the sun sets, their true form comes to life. For the past week, our town has woken up every morning to find the corpse of a cherished neighbor impaled on the spire of the clock tower that watches over our streets. Last night, I was the demon's target. I come to you from beyond the grave, begging you, Sherlock, to help Niagara-on-the-Lake find the demon before it's too late. Let me introduce you to the remaining members of our town and the players of our game. Say hello, everybody. Hi. Everyone here claims to be a townsperson. Most of these people are trustworthy, but two of them are not. One of these friendly faces is a demon. Another is that demon's minion. Over the next hour, the evil players will spread misinformation through the town. It'll be up to you and the rest of our players to figure out who to trust and who is lying. Let's meet these lovely folks, shall we? Hello, I'm Peter Fernandez, and you can trust me because ain't no mountain high, ain't no valley low, ain't no river wide enough, baby. If you need me, call me, no matter where you are, no matter how far, don't worry, baby. Just call my name, I'll be there in a hurry. You don't have to worry. I'm Jacqueline, and I've been a part of this town for many years, as you know, and um, my family before that, a long lineage of theirs here in this town. Look into your heart, and you can feel that I am good. Hello, my name is Drew. You can trust me, because I love raccoons. Even though 
every single garbage day. <laughs> I wake up and I have to pick up garbage scattered all across the street. <laughs> Hello, I am Andrew, and you can trust me, because as the legendary Phil Collins once said, You see my true colors shining through. Hi, I'm Ryan. Uh, you can trust me, because listen to that construction out there. I have been living in this construction zone for a whole year, and I just want to see this town go back to its peaceful, beautiful, idyllic self. I'm here to help you. Hi, my name is Shauna, and you can trust me because if I was a liar, wouldn't my pants be on fire? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Rong Fu, and you can trust me because my pet rabbit once peed on my face and I didn't even get mad. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Sanjay, and uh, I've been a townsfolk for as long as I can remember, and you can trust me because neither demons nor minions can handle delicious water. Every day, our players will gain information and discuss it amongst themselves. At the end of each day, the town will vote on whether or not to execute a person they suspect to be guilty. The goal of the good team is to successfully execute the demon. If they do, the game is over and the town survives. Everyone will cheer, they'll give socially distant high fives, and they will go to sleep soundly knowing that they will live to see another day. The goal of the evil team is to spread misinformation and to kill as many people as they can. If the evil team can dwindle the town down to just two alive players, they'll win leaving the decimated village of Niagara on the lake in their wake. Sherlock, we need your help. Can you find the demon before it's too late? <laughs> oh, good morning, town. The sun rises over Queen Street, and to your horror, you see my lifeless body impaled on the spire of the clock tower that sits over our town. Please, avenge my death. Good luck. You monsters! How dare you! He was my best friend! We all know you don't have any friends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Not in this town! Strike number one. I have something to bring up to the town, and it is a question on how to move forward with the investigation of my best friend's death. I'm Peter Fernandez, and today I am the Slayer, which means once per game during the daytime period, I can point to one character, and if they are the demon, they die. So I am very valuable and the townsfolk should not kill me, even though I'm pretty sure they will. In the past, we have chosen to reveal our information if we no longer get information going forward, but in doing so, we put the people who do get information in trouble. Should we not be more careful with our information? Should we not be more careful with our identity? It sounds like you're trying to hide something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Information is power. The more information we have, the more information yeah. we have, yeah. the quicker we can decide. I will speak up and say that. Hello, I am Andrew, and I am the librarian. My particular ability, I start by knowing that one of two players is a particular outsider. Either Sanjay or Peter is the drunk. Now, regardless of this, the most important thing you must remember is that silence is golden. Now, shh. You are actually very, very familiar to me, Peter, but for a very particular reason. The drunk doesn't know that they're the drunk. Yesterday, I, I was at my desk at 
the town library, and yourself and Sanjay came in. So one of the two of them could receive bad information. And you wanted to apply for a library card. Or their action would fail if they tried to use it. So I entered you in the system, and actually my system revealed even more about your character, that you enjoy the drink. So, oh, no. it was my duty to not issue you a library card. Today, I'm on mute? Yes, okay. <laughs> ah, today I am the empath. So, each night I learn how many of my neighbors are evil. I'm sitting next to Peter and Rom, and I got a zero, which means that neither of them are evil. If I'm drunk, then all bets are off. What a town when you don't know whether you're poisoned, drunk, or just having a bad day. I do not want Jägermeister all over <laughs> our only copy of Twilight Breaking Dawn. So one of us had a little much to drink. Interesting. I forgot who they were. Um, uh, I'm not sure how to speak without giving away too much information, but, you know, I, I don't think I have a problem with drink, but whenever I've had a drink, I've been a pretty happy drunk, so I just don't think I do it all the time. Don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> What's the <laughs> point of the beginning? Peter's less information <laughs> game is it's not very useful. insightful. A gatekeeper, could I please meet with, could Drew Plummer please meet with Andrew in a room? Okay, privately. okay. What, what business does Drew have with Andrew? Hello. Hello, hello. So your information was that... Either Sanjay or Peter were the drunk. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then I'll take a risk and I'll trust you. Okay. Uh, I'm the mayor. Hello, Sherlock. It is I, the mayor of this town. The good mayor of this town. Which means that if only three players live and no execution occurs, the good team wins. As well as if I die at night, another player might die in my place. Because I am so good. Um, I'm gonna wait as long as I can to reveal that just because my fear is that if, if, if they try and take me out, that yeah. it'll bounce off and hit someone important. So, For or sure. like someone that actually is For helpful sure. throughout okay. the game. So I will. I'll keep that. I'll keep that secret as well. I won't. I won't divulge that. that. Okay. Okay. I mean, there's also the possibility that Andrew could be a minion, and he's trying to give us misinformation. As I mean, well. no, he did. He did ask. He did ask if anybody was an outsider first. So it's possible. Okay. Drew. Three minutes. Andrew. And Would you like to? Yes. Say anything? <laughs> um, Drew needed well, help finding a book, and I offered. I was looking for books. I was <laughs> yeah. looking for a book. Um, well, I will say that I the reason I just met with Andrew is because I I trust him enough. Drew is my first suspicion. <sighs> you know, you'd have to be really quick on your feet. Um, not saying you're not, Andrew, but that, that, <laughs> that's that. That's <laughs> okay. You can say that I, I'm not. I, it's fine. <laughs> I, I will say that that that. <laughs> um, that given that information that I trust Andrew enough, Andrew enough so I told him uh, s some of my information oh hey town you hear the clock tower bell ringing you see the sun setting in the distance it is time to decide whether or not you are going to nominate someone for execution now if a player is nominated for execution everyone will vote in a clockwise order on whether or not to kill them to succeed, the vote needs at least a 50% majority. More than one player can be nominated each day, but only the player with the most votes will be executed. Ties cancel each other out. After a player dies, they're still in the game, but they'll be playing as a ghost from beyond the grave. And that means they can still talk, they can still influence the town, and they will still be fighting for the team that they are on. The big difference being that they no longer will have their character ability and they are only able to cast one yes vote for the rest of the game. Town, the decision is yours. The floor is now open for nominations. Peter. Town, I would then say, as with the history of this town, once you have fulfilled your use to this town, 
we usually dispose of you. So <laughs> I don't agree with that. Harsh, dude. So, wow. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, hear me out. Hear me out on this. I would like to counter that point and bring up the point that you made at the beginning of the game. That through exposing yourself as someone who uses a power, gets a power once, um, or learns learns something the first night and that's it, the numbers show who must have powers that are perhaps a little bit more useful. Mm -hmm. and I would I'm like just saying there's safety in numbers. Sherlock, thank goodness you're here. Our town, as you know, is in complete duress. I'm the town fortune teller. Each night I choose two players and I learn if either is a demon. I have the ability to see things. Since I am such, if I dare say, an important character in the town, see things that no one else can see. I want to keep that a secret, so if you could please not spread around that I have the powers that I have. This is the second call for nominations. Second call for nominations. I nominate Andrew. Thank you, Peter. Um, Andrew, you have the floor to defend yourself. I'm not entirely sure I can defend myself. I mean, Peter made some really, really uh, great points. I've served my purpose, and I, I've, I've served my community very, very well. You know, I absorbed all the late charges I could possibly absorb from all of you. Uh, and I just hope that you know that once I leave this, this plane, I, I, I will still be there in your hearts. You know, whenever you read a chapter in a book that really speaks to you, know that it's me that's speaking to you. <laughs> Thank so you, I love Andrew. you all. Uh, why are we killing Andrew? Thank you, Andrew. So we are voting for Andrew. Uh, we have eight alive players, meaning we need four yeses to pass. We are starting our votes with Ryan. Ryan, how do you vote? That's one. Shauna. Two. Wrong. Not if he's a townsperson. No. Sanjay? No. Peter? That's three. Jacqueline? That's no. Drew? That's a no. And Andrew for yourself? Well, I guess no. No. All right, so three <laughs> is not enough. The town is about to go to sleep with no execution in three, two, and we go to sleep. No one dies. Everyone sleeps with one eye open, fearful of the demon attack that will be coming tonight. Hello, Mr. Holmes. How nice of you to visit me. I'm surprised it took you this long. Well, you see, I was told that you were a great detective. I am the spy, which means each night I get to see the entire grimoire. Now what's a grimoire? Well, it's a map that shows who everybody is, what their abilities are, and what information they have about each other. Basically, I have the ability to see everything that's happening in this town. I guess you could call me a spy. You might want to keep this to yourself, otherwise it would be so boring for everybody else. My name is Ryan D'Souza. I have a very special ability. They call me the Raven Keeper. If I die at night, I am woken and I can find the true identity of any person in the game. One person, but I must be killed at night. I have a feeling uh, that I may be targeted tonight. I don't know who to trust yet. So my goal in this game is to pretend I'm somebody else, a high value player. I'm gonna throw Jacqueline out there. I, I feel she, I don't know if I trust her, just I have a hunch. I have a feeling I'm gonna go early, so I may have to make a guess. But when I do, uh, hopefully it will give me somebody I can supposed to find out. And I can give you some help in this game. Good luck, Mr. Holmes. I think we're gonna need it. Oh, good morning. 
<laughs> Ladies <sighs> and gentlemen. Oh, to your dismay, you find that Andrew Laurie has been executed by the demon overnight. <laughs> Why? 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 That's really strange. Last night, someone tried to kill me. As the mayor, I am protected. So if the demon tries to kill me, he'll bounce off me and kill another player instead. It makes sense. Andrew is a weird target for the demon. They tried to kill me last night, and Andrew died instead. They thought that I was special. There's a mayor. Is Andrew? Oh, maybe. There's a mayor. There's a mayor. Somebody's a mayor. Peter. Yes. Would you like to go and have a little chat? I would love to. Gatekeeper, sure. I, Peter oh. Fernandez, would like to go to the Old Angel Inn with Sanjay. <laughs> um, uh, are you able to tell me what you are? Because I'm either drunk or a really good character. How, how do we have trust? I know, I know. <laughs> because all Andrew said, all Andrew said was that one of you and I are is, drunk. is drunk. That's it. Okay, what what makes you trust me then? What makes you trust me? Maybe that 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 way. Because anybody, <laughs> yeah, because yeah. anybody who trusts me, anybody yeah. who trusts me without any cause, is somebody that I am concerned about. Because I wouldn't if, trust myself. If if I'm not drunk, yeah, then I trust you. Okay. Well, I told you what I am basically. So there you go. Uh, no, no, I, I don't know. Oh, I see. Because I'm beside you. Uh, I'm the Slayer. Interesting. But anyway, anyway I, have a, I have a zero right now. If I'm drunk, then either you or wrong is guilty I'm as hell. But... I'm suspicious of anybody who didn't vote for... for Andrew. Anyway. Anyway. Bye. Okay, I'm just going to say it. I'm just gonna say it. If there was a mayor, as Peter said there could be, if someone, if they were to die tonight, another player would die instead. So assuming that's what happened, and Andrew died, and we have a mayor, but we don't know who that is. After the town's meeting, I went to the library and opened a window and opened a book from that library the last book that Andrew touched. And I opened it in the breeze at the window, and the page opened to a page describing love. I believe Andrew is the librarian. I just don't want my books to get dusty. I just want someone to take care of them. I'll clean them for you. Thank you. I'll dust yeah. them too, it's a big job. Sanjay, can I yeah. have a meeting with you? Certainly. Gatekeeper, may Sanjay and Rong Fu meet at the courthouse? Luckily, I am sitting next to Sanjay, who is the empath, but because people think he might be drunk, they're not necessarily going to believe him when he clears myself and Peter. But I can also use that to my advantage and try and make Peter look evil. Hi, Ron. Hey, I just wanted to, I just want to know if I can trust the people around me. Um, me too. If I am drunk, uh, it could indirect, I guess it could no matter what I'm playing, but if I'm not drunk, it will help the town quite a bit. Okay, I've shared this information with Shauna and you. Okay. I am the monk, and I would just like to figure out like who to protect okay if i'm not drunk um mm -hmm. then you know, this is probably stupid play but if mm -hmm. i'm not drunk then uh uh then i trust you okay all right all right thank you sanjay okay hello sherlock welcome to our sleepy town of niagara on the lake my name is shauna and you can trust me because i am the town's undertaker each night, I learn which character died by execution during the previous day. 
It's a lonely job being the undertaker. Um, so far I've met with Wrong, and she claims to be the monk, and I'm not entirely sure if I believe her as of yet. It's horrific. It's satanic. And it must come to an end. I'm slightly suspicious of Drew. Thank you for coming to this town to help us solve these gruesome murders. I don't know Knowing who I am, I know that it would benefit the town more for me to not reveal who I am at this point because I think I would be very... It's, very, it's a very cautious town, this yeah. This town here. Drew's information or... Gatekeeper, right. may I meet with Wrong if she's willing in the Angel Inn? So many meetings. Hello. Hi, Okay, so I'm getting information and one of the pieces was that you are good. Um, I don't know enough about what's going on with Ryan right now. So that's something I'm a little bit suspect of. Can I assume that means you are... Okay, you don't, I mean, you don't have to. I don't want to make you Thank feel you. like you have to tell me Thank who you. you are. Okay, let's go. Thank you. Both Jacqueline and Sanjay have chosen to trust me, which is very, very promising. I know that with my spy cloak, I will appear good to the other townspeople, so that will keep me in the clear at the very least. It's, uh, what's really hard for me is my information is good unless I'm drunk. Storyteller, if, if, there, if there was a spy in play, his information is only given to him on the first night? No, every night. Every night. Every they see every night that they're alive, they get to see the, the, what's going on. They see the grimoire every night. By the way, I'm, I'm just reading the uh, complete works of H.P. Lovecraft. You know, boning up on my demonology to help the town. Even in my passing. <laughs> we appreciate you. <laughs> All right, town. The sun is setting. Hell's bells are ringing. It is time. The floor is now open for nominations. I have questions. I just have questions about... Well, this is this is for me, too. Like, why wouldn't we want to have... Like, I mean, it doesn't matter now, but why wouldn't we want to have voted Andrew off? So that, that question goes to Wrong and Jack. My thinking is if he is in fact the librarian, I don't fully agree with this tactic of mm. killing off players once they've given off information because it is also, at the end of the day, uh, a game of numbers. I'm very curious about why you were leading that charge and you wanted to yeah. kill off a character right away when he pointed you and Sanjay as potential drunks in this town. So that seems a little retaliatory. Yeah, completely understand that, yeah. Peter Fernandez is a nuisance. So this is the second call for nominations. We are about to go to sleep with no one being executed. Second call for nominations. Jack, are you, are, are you, do you stand by the uh, wrongs reasons why not to? to yeah, vote that's for, precisely oh. why I don't want to do it. I find oh. often it comes down. Well, yes, often it comes down to the, the, the numbers thing at the very end. We don't usually figure out the demon until it's like, we have one last chance if we don't get this right. And if mm. only we had more numbers, we could just, but we never do because we're murderous. I'm going to get you, Peter Fernandez. I'm going to get you. I will this also is the say final that... call for nominations. Final call for nominations in three. Wrong. Um, is there any worth in nominating one of the potential drunks? Because if you are under the influence, you may not actually be much help to the town. And right did... now, uh, Peter, you are behaving in a way that's doesn't seem to have the town's best interest in mind, and especially with you potentially being inebriated this whole time, would you be willing to make that sacrifice that you wanted Andrew to make? Uh, no. I, would, I, 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 I don't feel like I should be put on the chopping block. Um, whether or not I'm intoxicated, I don't know, but I, I don't think I should be on the chopping block, and I don't think there's enough reason behind it. I think I'm playing, I'm, I, I'm, I have sound strategy. So this is the final call for nominations. We are about to go to sleep with no one in the town being executed in three, 
two. I used my one. slayer power on wrong. Okay. So, without warning, Peter pulls out a crossbow from behind his back. He starts waving it around maniacally in the air, shouting, Wrong is the demon! Wrong is the demon! Wrong pleads for Peter to stop, but it's too late. Peter takes aim, fires the crossbow, but the arrow misses Wrong, and she does not die. The game continues. No! Oh, no! I can't believe... Now you can nominate Peter. Now you can nominate me. No, no, there's no need to nominate. We know he's good. Let's keep him for a number. We don't know he's no, good. How do you know he's bluffing. good? He's, he could have been bluffing. He's a minion bluffing to be the slayer. Now, 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 now you can nominate me all you want. <laughs> there, it's gone. Wow. Are there any nominations today? Okay, uh, so we are going to bed in three, two, one. Everybody goes to sleep weary about another demon kill that may come tonight. <laughs> I'm a dummy. I'm a big old dummy. I don't know why Peter did that. This is going really, really well. I'm suspicious of Peter. I can't trust anybody in this town. Peter, Peter, Peter. How will I execute Peter? I certainly can't trust Peter. Peter is not drunk. And he tried to kill Wrong. She would die if she was a demon. Which will make me drunk, and then I should have gotten a shit zero. <laughs> I don't want to push for anyone to die during the day because that will just make me look evil. But people dying during the day would help me help the t help the town. So. Oh, even in death, I'm still reading. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> the tricky players that we need to get rid of will be Drew and Ryan. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Everybody, everybody had a pretty good sleep last night. Jacqueline Thayer had a really good sleep last night from which she will never oh. wake again. Jacqueline Thayer died overnight. Oh. <laughs> Jack, can you tell us who you were? I was your fortune teller, hence the candle. And every night I would pour wax, light my candle and say a chant and pour my wax on my shell, and I would ask the question, who? Who? It's leaning to the right. Who's to my right? Drew. Drew is my first suspicion. Did you see that? I'm suspicious of Peter. The flame says the same. The wax has dripped on my shell. be good. I trust my reading from the night before and her reactions from the day. Let's see how the wax drips. <laughs> and the first night I asked about Sanjay and Rong and I got no. No neither. The second night I asked about Shauna and Ryan and I got yes. This night I was going to ask about Ryan and Andrew, because I'm confident about Andrew the librarian. And I was murdered. Murdered! Let the ghosts avenge me. I just want to say for the record, when Peter, Peter and Sanjay went into a room together, Sean and Rong went into a room together, it was Andrew, myself, Ryan and Jacqueline. And she alluded to a being someone of importance, um, which is interesting. So you checked Ryan against- Shauna. Shauna. So you Shauna, said Ryan, either. does anybody want to say anything? I have a question. Who? Why, 
here's a question from that I was keeping me up all night that I didn't understand. Why did you attempt to slay me? Oh, it's, because because you went after me and my pride. But that is so. <laughs> but that is that, that isn't putting the town's interest. No, uh, no, at no. First. It's because you were one of the you were one of the people who. Uh, who didn't vote for Andrew and I didn't buy it and then I felt like I had to make a choice because I didn't think I was going to survive I didn't think I was going to survive the night if I didn't make a choice I had made it kind of obvious to the town that I that I had something of importance to do and so actually I, I felt pretty dumb afterwards I, after I did it but my other person to go to do it was killed at night so I, I was suspicious about why not getting rid of Andrew these rats, if not the creatures of a madness, I have a feeling there's a spy in the game. I have doubts about Ryan. I extrapolate on the idea of rats. Um, so far I've met with wrong. There must be a rat amongst us. Everybody has like this beautiful conspiracy of life. Is there a spy? And if Sanjay is drunk, then. So if if wrong is not drunk, then listen. It's going to be a hard one for you, Mr. Holmes. I would, I would say, for my information, Sanjay and Shauna are the only characters that I've revealed who I was to. And because I wanted to keep my circle of trust small, Jacqueline, in our conversation, reached out to me because she had checked me. and But I didn't share with her who I was. And I told her in our conversation that if I die tonight, then I would be highly suspicious of either Shauna or Sanjay. And because I survived the night, um, it does make Ryan look rather suspicious. Ryan is very quiet. He could be uh, troublesome in this game, especially as the Raven's Keeper. He has the opportunity, if he dies at night at the hand of the imp, he gets to choose a player and discover their true identity. That's troublesome for us. Such now, is life. Now, in my in my readings after after death, uh, I found this this incantation that that might reveal uh, things. For us, uh, I'm just gonna give it a, a try here. Uh, per Adone Elohim, Adone Jehovah, Adone Sabot, Metraton on Agla Maton, Verbum, Hytonicum Mysterium Salamandre. Oh, I, I really thought that would work. Okay. <laughs> 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 well done! <laughs> uh, oh, all right, okay. Never mind, sorry, I thought that would help. Town, the sun is setting. It is that time to make a decision on whether or not you are going to execute one of your own. The floor is open for nominations. Are there any nominations tonight? Wrong. Um, based on what I shared with everyone in terms of my circle of trust and cross-referencing with Jacqueline's, um, Jacqueline's information that she brought to us, um, I would, the only suspect that I have right now, besides Peter, because you're playing, a, you're, you're, I don't know what kind of mind games you're playing and, and, and you, you're definitely taking it personally on me, but based following logic, Ryan is the only suspect that I have. So I would nominate Ryan because he came Thank out you. in a reading as potentially evil. Thank you, Ron. Ryan, you have the floor to defend yourself. Um, I'm a very valuable member of this town. Uh, I can help this town. I am 100% a townsperson. I would never kill Andrew on the first night if I was a bad guy. <laughs> that would not be the move I would make. Um, I'm sitting back and trying to take stock of what's going on so that I can figure it all out. I have not played games with anybody. I have not tried to throw people on their bus. I voted one time I voted for Andrew because I thought it was the right thing to do to see if maybe there was an undertaker in town who could v uh, verify Andrew's information. Maybe. But I really think I can help this town and I would like to have the chance to use my power. So uh, I can't say what it is because then it will ruin my power. So, uh, so let me continue to help this town. Give me some more time, please. Thank you, Ryan. So we have six alive townsfolk which means we need three yeses to pass. We are voting for Ryan, starting with Shauna. Shauna, how do you vote? One. Wrong. Seriously, Two. guys. Sanjay. Wow. 
Three. Peter? Four. Jacqueline, would you like to use your ghost vote? No. Drew? No. Andrew, would you like to use your ghost vote? Not yet. No. And Ryan, for yourself? No. So that is four. We are about to execute Ryan in three, two, one. With pitchforks in their hands, an angry mob backs you towards the courthouse. An executioner grabs you by the scruff of your neck, drags you up the stairs, and before you're plunged into darkness, you manage to scream out your final words. What do you say to the crowd? We're all gonna die. <laughs> Interesting choice, and we go to sleep. Okay. okay. <laughs> well, well, well. My plan to kill Ryan the Raven's Keeper was successful. Well, it's gotta be clear. I can't do a whole lot of information until I figure out whether I'm drunk or not. It's an interesting play. Drew is someone we have to get. Somebody's playing a brilliant game, I guess. And Shauna voted for Andrew, which is curious. That's... <laughs> it means I, I, even if I was, well. How to throw suspicion on him? Wow, wow, wow. He could be, if, if, if Peter, right, so, okay, so what I get from, okay, good. So what I get from that is that, wow. stiff as we wake up. Now, we are starting the day with four alive players. As a reminder, the evil team will win the game if there are only two players left alive. Wait, they picked the, they what? Picked the right... We're down to four alive players now. If, if, if the demon is sitting here and you guys choose this person, we go to sleep with three alive players, the demon will pick off the other person will wake up with two uh, alive players. And that's that's end of game, even though all the ghost votes are still in play. Yeah, once we get down to two alive players, uh, then the evil team wins. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Last night, the demon was worried that their kill was getting a little too close for comfort. Sunjay was found gruesomely slaughtered overnight. Mm. There's a spy in the game, guys. Pretty sure there's a spy in the I'm the mayor. Sanjay, can you say who you were? Well, if, <laughs> if I wasn't drunk, I had a lot of, I, I felt the feelings of my neighbors very strongly. Um, gatekeeper, can Sanjay, Andrew, and Ryan go to the Angel Inn, please? Jacqueline can come too if she wants. Can I? <laughs> the ghost section. Yeah, yes. why are ghosts talking to each other? I figured the dead people. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, we'll be safe. Um, I I was the Raven Keeper. Okay. Aww. My goal was to die at night. I'm um, sorry, I cast doubt on you. I was just, just telling them what I, I read. Didn't. I was sure I was going to die the first night. That's why I think there's a spy in the game, because there's no reason they wouldn't have taken. If I didn't say anything. I thought I would be suspicious enough that oh, one of the first two nights they would have killed me. My mistake was I should have targeted Peter yesterday after they nominated me. There's no reason for him to be alive. Yeah. No. And he could have easily played the game of I'm pretending to be Slayer. Yeah. And be the minion. Yeah. I feel like Peter, Shauna, and Drew. It could be Shauna, but yeah. someone's vetted Shauna, right? Sean, wrong uh, Sanjay, has, you but you don't... I did not, I, but I think Wrong said that she did. Sanjay, do you have good on either side of you? That's what I have, so if I'm not drunk... But you could be drunk. Yes, I could be drunk. Because I got a reading of zero between Wrong and Peter. Are they, we so, in agreement that it it's Shauna, Shana, I mean, Peter, or Drew? Drew's the mayor. It makes sense that there's a mayor. And he came out really early to me. That's what I our would, meeting was Drew about. did? He was... He's saying mayor? he was the mayor, yeah. Okay. Okay, so then it's... Shauna. It's got to be Shauna, unless it's a red Shana herring too. for Unless Jacqueline. it's Peter, because there's a spy, so they Shana know or Peter. what the deal is. Sure. Shauna or Peter is what I'm... We'll see what they look like. How do I kill Drew? How do I kill Drew? 
Sorry, Drew. Did you say you were the mayor? Was that the first time you revealed to the group what you were? And now, if I wait long enough to reveal myself as the mayor, they're gonna say, "Wow, Drew, you played a really great long game." I told, I, I told Andrew in that first meeting that I had with him, and then he died, which I found fascinatingly interesting, because right. why would anyone kill Andrew? Why would anybody kill Andrew if they're bluffing Unless as Andrew the mayor? <laughs> <laughs> the bluffing as yeah, the mayor. That's why somebody would kill Andrew. So that at this time, right now, you would say, why would anybody kill Andrew? Because you're right. bluffing as the mayor. But what I'll tell you is very interesting is that the minute we woke up, both Rong and Shauna got together and you and Sanjay got together. That's a lie. I'm just a very I... curious about why, if you were the mayor, why didn't you reveal this earlier to the town? Because so they could survive. protected you until the end when you're the most needed. Coming out as the mayor towards the end is a very like demon move to pull off at like the last stop. Well, I'll tell you what I was thinking was I clearly have misread everyone in my key. Huh. Ugh. Oh boy. Oh boy, I don't know. This is going to be a tough game. Buckle up. Wait, can we pause one second? Why do we trust Shauna right now? Yeah. Like, listen, why are we talking no. so free freely around I want Shana? to, listen, hold on. I want to be able to reveal who I am, but immediately the four ghosts just screwed off. Oh, there they are. Hey, Shauna. Hi. Okay. Can you, can you, so we have to, I think one of the best things I, to do right now is to go around the town and see who people are. We yes, have one Shauna. I'm, yep. I'm more than willing to tell me, tell you who I am right now. And I'm about to dig up Ryan's body and we're going to find out who he was. <laughs> We made a mistake. Ryan was the Raven Keeper, which means we destroyed his power by executing him during the day. All of us are playing checkers except for Wrong. Wrong is playing chess. Wrong, there's more going on there. Okay, so I am the Undertaker, and the reason why I haven't revealed anything is because no one has died by execution until you. And now that I've got the information based on last night that you were the Raven Keeper, I know that Sorry, I didn't, well, you're dead anyways. Um, but that I haven't had any information to divulge. The only person that I told that was wrong. Um, I don't know if I can trust wrong at this point, but that's the information I got last night from your death. That's the reason why I haven't said who I am because no one has died. I really had nothing to offer the town. Unless you're but, the spy and that's how you know who I'm, Ryan is. Yeah. I'm definitely not the spy. I'm convinced there's a spy in the game. That's who the bad guy is? That's who the minion is? If there was a spy in the game, why would Andrew be the first one killed? I don't because think it's Drew wrong. is the mayor, and, that's, and Drew's I don't mayor think, vote checks And this in. might bite me in the butt later, but I don't think it's wrong either. I mean, Shauna, if you, as the Undertaker, you could have pushed harder to kill, but I understand you kind of keep yourself, to, but you're trying to keep yourself, but you're trying to keep yourself secret. Yeah. Sure. I didn't want to look like, yeah. yeah, let's just kill everybody. Like, I I knew it was either going to be a possibility or it wasn't. And when no one was dying, I was like, well, I have nothing to offer. Well, I don't... So <sighs> up until last night, yeah. mm -hmm. that was the first time we could also that kill I nobody. was able to find out. We could kill nobody and get one more night of this. Town, it's that time. You have a decision to make. Are you going to execute one of your own or are you going to go to sleep with no executions today? The floor is open for nominations. I nominate Drew! Thank you. Peter has nominated Drew. Peter, you have the floor to say why. I was suspicious overnight about the amount that uh, Drew was was saying that there was information being gathered, and it kind of it kind of got me the wrong way. And I I think I have reasons to trust other people, and if people are saying that other people are trustworthy, uh, I don't have that information on Drew, and I I think I I think it's a it, it's a good call at this point uh, to make. Thank you, Drew. You have the floor to defend yourself. First of all, I am the mayor, just to make that very clear to everyone, to make sure everyone heard that. Um, I will say that I came out first in our first day phase after hearing information from Andrew and Peter. Uh, I trusted Andrew enough to go to him, um, which immediately put a target on my back as someone going to someone who is trustworthy to, to go speak to. Then that night, Andrew died, which I found very interesting because why would Andrew die? No one would have killed Andrew outright. 
that is why I chose to wait because the evil team would have known that I was the now they I would have known from that night this too. They would have known this Peter. is Drew's defense. This is this is I find it very interesting. Uh, Peter shot randomly in the dark um, with his with his one power that he had. I honestly have no idea who is who at this point. So all I will say is I hope that we cannot nominate anyone uh, to to allow my power to go through. All I'm asking for is to kill nobody tonight. I wish my great grandfather could be here now to see me leading this town to its destruction. So thank you, Drew. Uh, so we are voting for Drew. We have four alive players, which means we only need two yeses to execute Drew. We are starting with Andrew. Andrew, do you want to use your ghost vote? No. Ryan, ghost vote? No. Shauna? Shauna, your vote. Shauna in three, thank you. Sorry, Rob. sorry. That's one. Sanjay, your ghost vote. <laughs> no. Peter. Oh! That's two. Oh! Uh, Jacqueline, ghost vote. No. And Drew for yourself. Okay, so Drew Shit. is about to be executed. We either try and get a tie with another two votes, in which case Drew and that other person would not be executed, or someone to uh, supersede. I will nominate Peter for a tie. Two votes. Thank you. Only two votes. Drew has nominated Peter. Peter, you have the floor to defend yourself. It makes no, like, if, if, here's, 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 here's the, here, like, I, it goes to show that you should kill me. Then the next night, like, I, I don't understand. Like, you're either going to believe him or, or me at this point. So what are you, what are you doing? The, the, the game will be over if you, if you kill me. So if you don't believe me, what I believe me, if you don't believe me, fine, fine, kill, kill me. Kill me. Thank you, Peter. Thank you. Okay, so we are voting for Peter. Two yeses will tie, and neither Peter nor Drew will be executed. Three means Peter will be executed. So we are starting with oh, Jacqueline. Jacqueline, would you like to use your ghost vote? No? Drew? Yeah, I will say, uh, I'll just say yes. Yes, yeah. That's one. Andrew, ghost vote? I don't want to use it yet. Ryan, ghost vote? No. Shauna? No, wrong. No, Sanjay, Sanjay yes. ghost vote. Sanjay vote yes. But if I just vote yes, Peter votes yes. And I know, then... but we, at least it gives us a chance. That is two, and Sanjay is using his ghost vote. Peter, for yourself. Okay, so then I take the consensus that we believe Drew. No, no. you're purposely no. doing the wrong no. thing. No, we are purposely means... doing the wrong, yeah, it's clear. It's clear. That means that Peter is about to be executed. So nominate somebody there else. Three votes. Three. Are there vote. any other Shana, nominations? Nominate wrong. Nominate I, wrong. We'll I, get three. I, I, we'll I get nominate three. wrong. Thank you, Shauna. You've nominated wrong. Shauna, you have the floor. Honestly, I don't know who to believe. The only person I've met with before has been wrong, and I think I've just kind of been going off of the fact that she might be telling the truth, but I. I don't know. I don't know who to trust at this point, so I'm sorry, wrong. Wrong, you have the floor. Say they execute someone and it's myself, then we win. I'm, I'm very confused. I, I don't know why I'm on the chopping block. The only person I don't trust in this game is Drew. Drew, the only thing you're, you have going off right now to prove that you're the mayor is that you didn't die the first night. I protected you the first night. So that doesn't prove to me that you are who you say you are. And like, as far as like this gong show of nominating people, I'm really like, <laughs> I'm very confused. Like, vote for me no, or don't not. vote for me. Like, let's get the tie and like move on to another day. Tie. I don't know why I'm being thrown under the bus at this point, but sure, yeah, nominate me, get a tie. Thank you, Ron. So we have three yeses for Peter, which means we need three yeses for wrong to tie, or four for wrong to be executed. We are starting the votes 
with Peter. Oh. Yeah, of course. That's a no. But if Rom's a demon, would you like to get... use your ghost boat? Yeah, get Jack more. Jack, use it. Should I? We need to get three for Rom. Yeah. Okay, okay. So that's one. Uh, Drew? That's two. Andrew, ghost boat. Need it. Uh, use use yeah. it for three. That's three with your ghost boat. Yes. Ryan, ghost boat? No. Shauna, no. vote no. Shauna? Vote no to keep it going. Yeah. Because if Ron votes yes, she's the minion. She can't. She's the minion. She can't vote yes as the M. Sorry, say that. Say that Just again. Just vote no. Vote, vote no. no. We get a tie. And now, if Ron kills no. herself, you see, my greatest weakness is that I always, pin, I always play to survive. If Ron kills herself. I don't know what's happening. Because Ron is the minion. Is a no. She can't. She can't so vote. So yeah. we have three yeses for Ron. Three yeses for Peter. Neither will be executed today. Are there any more? Nominations today. We are about to go to sleep in three, two, one. The town goes to sleep. I was so confused. Lives to see another day. No, they're not. They're what the f? We could have won this game in this round. That was a mistake. That was a mistake on my part. Oh, this is so frustrating. I, I can't. I can't. I, I can't. I am so. Mad. still alive. Peter is evil. Peter is like a greasy salesperson. Like a baloney. I am not buying what he is selling. Peter is so sketchy. <laughs> I'm mostly suspicious of Drew. Shauna, so, so understated in this game. Um, hello, Drew. Where was this information before? You're a little too late, Shauna. I have no information to base that off of. Just my gut. This mayor, Sherlock? has had his last year in office. A case like this isn't for the faint of heart. I'm at a loss for what, I don't know what's happening. Please, help us win this for the good side. Rise and shine, Niagara on the lake. We are down to our last day. And the person who met their maker last night was Ms. Rong Fu. So guys, here's Drew, here's how I see it, here's how I see what happened. There is a spy in the game. I believe it's Peter. Hmm. 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 He's been killing the right people at the right time. Though it's weird that he went after Drew, and that he wouldn't have maybe not talked to the imp before going after Drew. So last round, he was trying to get all the heat on him to get himself killed because he knew if we killed him the bad team would win because the imp would still be alive. He is this not is the This is baloney, imp. Ryan, and you know it. I don't this know. This is baloney and you know it. It's I, Drew. It's, I don't think it is. Like, it's Drew. If it is, I he's mean, played it really, really well. Holy smokes, guys. I, think, I was a slayer. Like, I don't understand. I think, the, don't. I think confusion is a sentiment that is running rampant in our little town. Also, Peter getting confused too. That is super sketchy. Peter was the spy. So Peter has to be the demon. I'm suspicious of Peter. Confusion indeed. If I think the two evil players are still amongst us and I think it's Drew and Peter. I don't know which is which. I know that we can't yeah. verify that Peter Drew, would have never Peter would have never laughing? taken the vote. He would have never had three votes on him if he was the imp last game. He wouldn't have tried to kill himself. There's no, because the game would have been over. He would have lost the game. Now, it could be Shauna. Yeah. I'm not throwing Shauna. I'm reading on Shauna. Because Jack got a reading on Shauna. Let me say, I got a reading on Shauna, and it was either Ryan or Shauna, and we've confirmed it's not Ryan, so. 
Listen, I'm well, the only but... Shauna that I was oh. the monk in the first round, and I have survived <laughs> up until now when I revealed myself that I was the monk and I protected Jew in the first round, which does not prove that he was the mayor because I but protected can him. Can you give us your protection you. record, Ru, Ra, uh, wrong? Can you tell us who you protected each night? Yes. So the first night I protected Drew. And I think that's... So why is there so many hands up? Yeah. I because I don't believe Wait, what I'm you alive. just said. I'm alive. Reclaiming my time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm alive. Dead people, I'll be quiet. Fine, okay. Okay. I'm awake. Thank you. Ender? I believe her. Uh, I, her. Forgive me if I'm understanding wrong. Uh, but wrong. If you protected Drew on the first night, how did I die? Because I didn't protect you. But then no, That's nobody right. would die the first night. But then right. you were targeted for some reason. I don't know. Only Peter or Drew. Would, uh, Drew was keeps being the one being like, why were you targeted? I think he's the one that's been spinning this web. He's trying to but take heat on it. Doesn't, it, doesn't, that. it doesn't make sense. If you, if you protected Drew the first night, there would be no death, but I died. That's right. Yeah, because right. I protected Drew. So he, he's coming off the Unless he wasn't the target. I kind of weirdly feel used by wrong. He no. thinks he was the target and that's why he survived or that you died. But like, I protected him. Do the, do, the, do the ghost people think that there's a mayor in play? I think that wrong. If wrong was the imp, she killed herself last night. So now it goes to Peter. So now Peter's the imp. That's Great. why. So Wonderful. if we don't do any, we don't know if it's Shauna or Peter because Jacqueline's information is still in the air. So it could be Shauna. Gotta watch Shauna now, I guess. No way. I think Shauna was honestly just being tentative and wanted to make sure she was making a, the correct choice. Even though I got a yes with her and Ryan. I don't know who to trust. And find out why she trusts Shauna. Because Shauna would have known who I was, because at some point the spy could How have, would we, I have we known think, who you We are. think it's a spy. If you've talked to Peter, you would have known who I was. You know who everybody is. So the safe play, if we believe Drew is the mayor, <laughs> is to not do anything today. Do we believe he's the mayor? It is of the utmost importance that I remain alive, as I fear that I am the only person that can win this game for us. If I don't Drew is the mayor, if Drew is the mayor, I don't think he's the mayor. I'm going to tell you right now. He came out I don't late Drew revealing us this information. He told he, Andrew on Peter, day one. Peter. Unless, of course, Drew is the demon, and he killed me as a way to perpetuate his masquerade, his, his identity as mayor. Drew's either playing a stupendous game as a demon. Drew, I don't know. Right at the beginning, I had thoughts about it. Let's see, we can figure it out. Don't have a lot of time now. Okay, it is time, town. You have a decision to make. These are the last nominations for the game. If you hit the demon, the game will be over and the good team will win. If Drew is telling the truth and he is indeed the mayor, the good team could also win by not executing anyone today. But if you execute the wrong player, or if Drew is not the mayor and you don't execute anyone, then the evil team wins the game. The floor is open for nominations. This is the final round of nominations. I don't think there's a mayor in play. I don't think that there's a mayor in play. I don't know who to believe, and I, and I am fully shocked that I'm still alive. How many people believe that there's a mayor in the town? Of, yeah. of the people that can vote, how many, like, Andrew... Now, now hold, on, hold on a sec. Now, Drew came out to me first and, and admitted he was the mayor. And then that night, I died. Now, could this also be like a masterful play by Drew too? Mm. I mean, I mean, I, it's it's yes, it's, man, shake yes, his head. Yes, but I, I will nominate say, Drew. Thank you. Peter has nominated Drew. Peter, you have the floor. I don't think there's a mayor in play, and I don't think we should go without an execution. Whether or not you believe me, that's that's on that's on yours. We're gonna find out at the end of the game what I was. But like, I I think and I, that it's Drew, and I don't think we should trust that there's a mayor in play. And I, my my suspect is on. Wait a minute, but we got a reading on Shauna. Drew, <laughs> thank you, Drew. You have the floor to defend yourself. Okay. First of all, we all have two options. We can either vote to kill me right now, and the demon wins. We have a reading on Shauna, so we have we have clear information of a possibility of a demon, or we do nothing. And I think, I think like that makes the most logical sense, if you believe me. If not, totally fair, kill Shauna or Peter. Um, I mean, again, I have no, I have, 
absolutely no clue who could be the demon at this point, other than the fact that Shauna has that reading. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you, Drew. So we have three alive players, means we need two yeses to pass. Sanjay, Jacqueline, and Andrew have all used their ghost votes, so they will no longer be able to vote for the rest of the game. It's only five votes. We are voting for Drew, starting with Ryan. Ryan, do you want to use your ghost vote? No. Shauna? One. Ron, would you like to use your ghost vote? Ugh. Yes. Peter? <sighs> oh, oh, poop. Dude. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing now. Don't no. do it. We no, have no, don't do it. You know exactly what you're doing. You nominated. But Sanjay, don't, you are... Don't do it. <laughs> Y'all, this is crazy, though. <laughs> I didn't expect that from Rom. <laughs> I know. He's been undermining me this entire time. Of course he's evil. That's a no. And Drew, for yourself. That's okay, nominate nice. me. Oh, are there any more nominations? I'll nominate Shauna for a tie. Thank you. Shauna, you have the floor. Listen, I have explained myself time and time again. The only person that I've met with thus far has been Wrong. Wrong told me straight off the bat who she was. If I was the demon, why wouldn't I have killed her the very first night? She's claiming to be the monk. Why wouldn't I have immediately Ugh. killed her? It doesn't make any sense. Drew has never said anything this entire time until the very end when he claims to be the mayor. To me, it doesn't make any sense. I think Drew makes way more sense, or even Peter, but I know it's not me. There's no way that I would have known that Ryan was the Raven Keeper otherwise. I had no other information to give up until that point, and when I got it, I gave it. Thank you. So we are voting for Shauna, starting with Peter, we need two yeses to tie, three to execute Shauna. Peter, that is a yes. You said there's no mayor in play and you're gonna go vote for me. Drew? How many alive votes are there left? Uh, you're the last one, you just need there, one. There's one from you, there's Shauna, and then there's a ghost vote from Ryan. Guarantee it, guarantee it, Drew. Just do two. Yeah. That's two, Ryan, ghost votes? No. And Shauna for yourself? So that is two. That means that today, neither Drew nor Shauna will be executed. Shauna, would you like to ex uh, would you like to nominate Peter? Yes. Okay. Um, you have the floor if you would like it. At this point, I don't know which of the two of you to trust. I trusted wrong, and now she's dead. So I can assume that she was probably being honest. The two of you, I, I don't know. I just know that it's not me, and it. To me, it doesn't make, I mean, I thought that it didn't make sense that there was a mayor in play. Maybe there is, I don't know, but I don't know. Peter, sorry. Peter, you have the floor. I am so lost. I have, I have switched so many <laughs> times. It's been quite the rough week. The spy is powerful. I can't believe that happened. I can't. <laughs> Yep, I uh, had it completely right. No, I had it completely wrong. There was a minute that I thought it could be them. You were dead in the water. <sighs> oh no. Getting down to the wire becomes extremely taxing on your ability to hold everyone's information in frame. Dangerous, dangerous time to be in this town. That was a very close call. And to quote Dr. Seuss, Oh, the places you'll go. Oh, the places you will go. All right, so that is all of the nominations, all of the votes that we have today. Everyone ties. <gasps> the game is over. That seems weird. And a big, big congratulations I was goes to Team Good. Congratulations, guys. You have successfully <laughs> avoided <laughs> execution. No, no, Drew's no. mayor. No. <laughs> Congratulations, guys. We could have killed Drew last round. We could have killed him last round. I need to know why the hell all the all the information was wrong. So, uh, Shauna 
was the imp. She did a really stellar job of keeping the heat off her for a really long time with the help of Rong, who was the spy. Sanjay was the empath. He learned there were zero evil players sitting next to him because as the spy, Rong registers as a good player. Peter was the slayer. Oh, wait, no, Peter was the drunk. So regardless on who you would have uh, taken out, your shot wouldn't have worked. Jacqueline was the fortune teller. She successfully found Shauna in the midst. Ooh. Drew was the mayor, his ability won us the game. Andrew was the librarian. Ryan was the raven keeper. Congratulations, guys. Well played. I am I am so sweaty so right now. So close. Well, Sherlock, you've discovered me. There's nothing more frustrating than ending something when you still have a score to settle. And I would have gotten away with it too. Drew and Peter? If it wasn't for those meddling kids. Maybe not today. Maybe not in this game. This won't be the last time you see me. But in the future. <laughs> 